Hey guys, it's Natalia and today I have another business video for you guys. I know that a lot of you guys follow me for fashion content, obviously, but also a lot of you guys seem to be aspiring entrepreneurs. I get so many DMs from you guys and comments about you guys also starting a business and how you feel inspired by my videos to do so, and I really love that, and you guys know I'm here for supporting all of you and to help you in your own business journeys because I think there's room for everybody here. So today I wanna to share with you guys all of the websites and apps that I use to help me with my business, as well as also with my social media and stuff because I consider that a second business as well. So kind of things that I use for e-commerce as well as social media and marketing, all that type of stuff. So I wanna share with you guys literally every single website and app I use every single day that helps me with my journey. And before we get into this, I'm super excited to share with you guys that this is actually sponsored by Skillshare, which is super exciting because I personally use Skillshare a lot when I first started my business. I learned a lot about entrepreneurship and just having a creative business in general. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it is an online learning community where you can find classes on literally anything. I personally have taken a lot of the entrepreneurship classes, a lot of the creative business classes, but I've also learned a lot about pattern grading and sewing on there as well, which I know is something that maybe a lot of you guys would be interested in. So I will leave a bunch of my recommended classes down below in the description for you guys to check out. The Greg Armas Introduction to Starting Your Own Fashion Label is one of the ones that I looked at when I first started my brand. It's a really great place to further your creative abilities. And I will have a link down below in the description for the first 1,000 that click it, get a free trial of Skillshare. And after that, it's only less than $10 a month for an annual membership. So it's honestly pretty affordable for the amount of knowledge that you can get out of it. I really hope you guys take advantage of that again my link is down below so feel free to go check that out the very first website we're gonna be talking about is Squarespace. You guys know that I use Squarespace to host my website and I really, really love it. It has been so user-friendly. It's been so easy for me to kind of navigate and figure out how to customize my website and make it the best possible experience for my customers. And I really loved it. I know that there are a lot of other websites you can use, things like Wix or Shopify, but personally, I've really loved my experience with Squarespace and I really love the aesthetic of it. And again, it's very user-friendly, very easy to navigate. So I definitely recommend using Squarespace if that is something that you're looking into, I definitely recommend it. The second website that I use literally daily is Notion. In a recent vlog, maybe like two, three months ago, I told you guys that I was trying to test out different like planning apps or websites and I couldn't find one that I really liked that fit kind of like what I do as a business. Like I wanted something that could be a collaborative board for me to have my friend Kennedy who works with me to be able to also like add into things and stuff. So I wanted some sort of platform to kind of just run my business on and have everything on it. And I came across Notion and I have loved it ever since. I have so much stuff on there. I keep track of my custom orders on there. I have a little panel that tells me all the ones that I have, all the ones that are next up, which ones are in the process, which ones are done. I also have a small content calendar on there. I don't do too well with that one, honestly, but I've tried to kind of like spark some ideas in there. I have all my YouTube video ideas on there and I also kind of schedule out when I want to do them and which ones like I think are gonna be next up in my to-do list and all that stuff. And I I also keep a to-do list for Kennedy on there for her to see like all the tasks that I need her to do and then I can see like if she's in the process of them if she started them or not if they're done that helps us so much and just kind of like having everything figured out so I definitely recommend Notion I really love using it it is something that I use literally on the daily and it is the only thing that I found that has really kept me organized and I really like the visuals of the platform and how customizable it is because I tried so many other ones and I just didn't like that they were so like standard because my business isn't very standard so I needed something that kind of gave me more freedom to figure out on my own. So I really love it and that is what I use. The next app that I use daily is Planoli. This is my social media planning app. I've shared it with you guys a couple times, I think in a few vlogs, but it is a website as well as it is an app. So usually if I'm gonna launch a new collection or something, I put like all the pictures on Planoli and then like start kind of like figuring out what the aesthetic of my feed is gonna be like and what I want the captions to be. You can post directly from that app into Instagram, which is really easy. You can schedule your posts as well if you need to. And what I really love about Planoli as well is that it also allows you to schedule pins for Pinterest which is something I've been really trying to get into lately so I put all my pictures on there and then I have Kennedy schedule them all out for me which is super easy because that way they're mindlessly posting and I don't have to think about it and Pinterest is such a great tool for marketing and it's something that I really need to start using a lot more so this makes it so much easier for me to not have to really think about it too much and I can do it all from one app and one website which is really really nice I honestly use it I think more on my computer than I do on my phone but I do also use it on 
on my phone mostly for Instagram and to post things if I hadn't scheduled something out I want to see what it's gonna look like on my feed before I post it that's where I'll put it in but overall I really love it I've tried using a lot of different social media planning apps and this is the best one that I found the one that I liked the most so it's the one that I've kept using it does cost a certain amount per month I'm not entirely sure I think maybe it's like ten dollars but there's also different plans so look into that but if you're a business I think that's an expense that is really good and really helpful so the next website I'm gonna be talking about is actually Google my business if you guys don't know what that is it's something that I recently also learned of thanks to 13 emerald marketing she is so great she reached out to me on Instagram and was like hey like have you done anything with like your Google my business or your like SEO or anything like that and honestly those terms meant nothing to me I had no clue what that was and she kind of took me through all the steps of like figuring it all out and kind of helping me on that side of marketing because obviously you guys know that I do most of my marketing on social media but aside from that there's obviously things you can do to help your marketing so so those are things I learned from her and you guys should totally check that out this is her Instagram page so feel free to check her out and follow her and DM her for questions and stuff she's really helpful really great so Google my business is basically like when you look up a business on the internet on Google and it shows up with like kind of a little box it gives you like reviews it gives you a description it gives you like pictures of the place that is a Google my business account and that is something that you have to set up yourself so I set up my Google my business and that is where like all my reviews are for my shop which is obviously really helpful for people to trust my business and trust like wanting to buy from me so that's really good I also have a bunch of pictures on there so people can easily find me obviously I don't have an actual like physical store location but if I had one the directions and stuff would be there but overall I give everybody kind of like a place to contact me to have everything in one place and to easily be searchable so that is something that I really recommend if you have not done so already for yourself especially if you're in e-commerce it's really important to do that because it's a lot easier obviously for a physical store to be found like that but it's also also equally important for us e-commerce people to have it as well so definitely check that out if you haven't already the next website I use is MailChimp this is my email marketing website I don't love it too much and I haven't really delved into email marketing too much but it's something that again I'm really trying to get into a lot more it's something that I have Kennedy working on which is really nice so basically MailChimp has a free version it also has like a paid version with obviously more perks but they have so many email templates for you to send out mass emails to all the subscribers of your website as well as things like a thank you email after a purchase or like a follow-up email after a purchase of like hey leave a review stuff like that is what you can do on MailChimp and it kind of automates it for you and you can make a lot of automations on there so that's why I really like it I don't think it's the most user-friendly platform ever sometimes I find it a little bit difficult to figure out but overall it's what I've been using and I really haven't found anything else it's what's been recommended the most to me so I use it I like it it's good it's there the next website I use is Cloverly this is where I offer carbon neutral shipping basically the way it works is that it's kind of like an add-on for your shop but they're not partnered with Squarespace just yet so I had to do it a little bit differently but if you have Shopify it can automatically be added to your shop and kind of automatically do it all for you but for my shop I do it manually so I have a shipping option on Squarespace that is carbon neutral shipping that is like the extra added cost of neutralizing your carbon emissions and from there I take that money and then put it into Cloverly and send it to different offset projects that they have which is really cool you can choose which ones to put it on or they can kind of choose for you but that is the website that I use to offset all of my carbon emissions from my website where people can choose the carbon neutral shipping the next website we're gonna be talking about is Google Calendar this is obviously where I keep track of everything as far as like timing and just visualizing what my schedule is gonna look like and what I have to do on certain days I don't put absolutely everything into Google Calendar I only put kind of bigger events if I have like interviews with people or if I have calls with people and I like to also put in all of the videos that I want to film when I'm gonna film them when I'm gonna post them it's also where Kennedy keeps track of her hours so she has her own little like calendar within it and she just kind of writes in like where she's been working what she's been working on so that helps us keep track of her hours really well it's also where I can visualize like my launch dates and where they are in relation to everything else I have to do and figuring out obviously timing of things I really love Google Calendar it's also just very shareable again like I said Kennedy and I use it together a lot which is really really nice and really helpful so again if you have kind of a collaborative team or whatever Google Calendar is so so good for that and it literally is how I keep track of everything. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about is the app Unfold. It is what I use to make majority of my Instagram stories. Whenever they're obviously more planned and it's not just like me talking or anything like that, I usually use Unfold, especially if it's like some sort of template. That's the app that I like to use the most. It just looks really nice. They have a lot of different themes and stuff. I tend to use like the classics and the digital ones, which I really, really love, but they have a bunch of other ones that you can use. I really like it. I think it just like levels up your stories, obviously, and makes things look a lot more professional. It's not super necessary, but it's something that 
that I love and I do get asked about a lot. So that's where I edit all my stories. And speaking of editing stories, I also use the app Tezza to edit a lot of my stories as far as like the coloring of them, like the filter or anything like that. If you've ever seen any of my stories be kind of like stop motion E or if they have like a film grain or if have, they have like a filter on them, I don't use Instagram filters. I use them literally solely on Tezza. I love that app so much. It allows for filters on videos, which is something that wasn't very seen beforehand, but it's obviously a little more common now, but I really love it. They have the greatest things. And I also just like follow Tezza on Instagram. She's really cool. And she's just like built up this business on her own with her husband. And I think it's really, really awesome. So I really love her as a creator and I want to support her app. It is also a subscription. It's a couple dollars or so a month, I think, but I think it's definitely worth it. They come out with new features all the time. And again, I really love just kind of adding a little bit of extra like spice into my stories. I use it a lot for my main Instagram as well. My personal one, not just my business one, because again, I just think it adds a lot to it. I love using the little stop motion feature just to make things look a little more vintage-esque, I guess. I use the filter vintage kind of on everything. Obviously I tone it down a lot. I don't use it to its 100% full extent, but I do use that one the most, especially if you see stories of like me talking or anything like that. I usually like to put that filter on it just so it looks a little bit nicer. It adds a little bit extra something. The next app I'm gonna talk about is Canva. This is probably the one you've heard of the most from every entrepreneur ever. I use this one honestly mostly just for YouTube thumbnails because they already have the set dimensions for it. You can literally just type in YouTube thumbnail and it'll show up with the set dimensions and you just have to make your thumbnail on there. So it's really easy, really simple, really quick. So that is where I make all of my YouTube thumbnails. I usually edit the pictures outside of Canva, but I put them all together in there, if that makes sense. The next app is my video editing app, which obviously I use very often. I use Final Cut Pro X and I really, really love it. I know that there are fancier video editing softwares you can use. And honestly, I just don't need it. I don't really make super highly produced videos. So Final Cut has been something that I've used for years. I think I got it back in like 2014 or 2015. So I've had it forever and I really love it. It's super easy, super user friendly. And there's just so much you can do on it. Probably so much that I don't even know you can do on it because I'm not necessarily the greatest editor of all times, but I really love it. Really easy, really simple. And it is what I use for my videos. As far as making all the graphics for my business Instagram and editing my pictures and all of that, I do have the Adobe Cloud. So that allows for me to have like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom, Adobe Illustrator, all of those apps. I have them on the cloud. I had them obviously for school, but I've just obviously kept them since then. They're really, really helpful, really useful. I use Photoshop for my pictures. I use Lightroom for my pictures and I use Illustrator for making all of the graphics that you see on my business page. All of those are handmade by me. I don't use automated things like Canva to make them. I like to make them from scratch. So that is how I do it. Obviously these programs are a lot more advanced and it's something that I learned in school. I did not learn it on my own necessarily. So they are more advanced and not necessarily necessary, but again, it's just a way to level up your skills, level up your business and just make things look more professional. And last but not least, let's talk about payments. I feel like that's something that I also get asked about a lot. So the website that I use to host all the payments on my website is Stripe. There's a few other ones you can use. I think Square is another one that's very popular, but I use Stripe. It's worked really, really well for me. And that's what is linked to my Squarespace website. And that's where all the payments go through and that's how they get to me. And I really, really love using it. It's been super easy, super simple, quick setup, all of that. And it's really nice because I can also send invoices through Stripe, which comes in handy so much with custom orders. Obviously when it comes to getting payments from people outside of like a website and stuff, there's a lot of different routes you can take. I mostly send invoices through Stripe, but if for whatever reason, like that person wasn't able to do it through there or like it doesn't work, I do also use PayPal and sometimes I use Venmo, but for majority of my invoices, I do like to use Stripe. It's really easy to just do it that way. It sends it directly to them. They can pay it, I get it. And we don't have to go through any like big process or like fees or anything like that. So it's really, really nice. And that is what I use for all the payments that go through my website and our custom orders. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love talking about business things with you guys. And I know that a lot of you guys really enjoy these videos too. So I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you learned something new from this today. If you guys wanna see more business videos, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And of course, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. So you get notified of whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget to check out Skillshare down below. I'll have a link for you guys so you guys can check it out. And yeah, that's it for today's video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.